So I'm in Florence, Italy, and we're going to go looking for some tequila. I'm really curious about what the tequila selection is like here in Europe, especially in like a big city like Florence, and you'll never believe what we found. The first place I went to was the Mercato Centrale, which is like the central market of Florence. There's all these little stalls that sell a lot of local food and produce, and they also have a lot of wine stores. So this was the first place we went to, and obviously they had a ton of Chianti and different Italian wines, but they also had a lot of different spirits, and that's when we discovered this. Tequila Climax, look at that. I decided not to reach Climax, I mean reach for the Climax, and then we kept going. Continuing on our hunt for more tequila. That is some sexy cheese. Oh my god, the block of Parmigiano. Forgive my obsession with cheese, we finally stumbled upon another alcohol store that sold a lot of different wines, and we actually found another tequila you might recognize, even though it was just Jose Cuervo. Ew. Not the best luck here, but we're gonna keep trying. Hmm. I don't think they sell tequila here. So I did some research and found a spot that's supposed to have a really good selection of stuff. So we'll see. The Mercato Centrale had an incredibly disappointing selection of things, but this place, Enoteca Alessi, surpassed all of my expectations. It's a push. I felt like a kid in a candy store in this place. Everything they had seemed incredibly curated. Some good rum options here. They seem to really know their stuff at this place. Found the whiskey section. Some interesting selections for the most part. Except that thing, that's weird. Beautiful. Time for real whiskey. We have a couple options up there. And here we are. And the cachaça is down at the bottom too. Look at us. Alright, so. Alright, starting off with some budget options. 34 euros may seem high, but all the tequila here was a little bit more expensive than the States. And some Germana, which I will actually be taking some for my wedding. And then we have. That's a no, 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 ew, ew, ew. This is the label for Tequila Ocho in Europe. It's very different than the one in the US, but it's really cool. And then they have some mijenta here for 69 euros. Plus others, which is not terrible. We have one of my favorites, Cimarron, both the Blanco and the Raposado, which is another one of my favorites. Some more mijenta, and then absolutely not. And check out up there. Look at what they have up there. That's hilarious about the Fortaleza. Can't find it in the US, but you can find it in Florence, Italy. And they actually have quite a good amount of mezcal and other agave spirits. You have La Venenosa, which is at Icia. And then we have the Mezcal Nuestra Soledad, which is interesting. We have Mezcal Vago, Rey Campero, which is one of my favorites. Siete Misterios, which I love as well. And of course, some Vita up at the top there. Thankfully, they don't seem to have much celebrity tequila outside of Casamigos. And that's a good thing. Oh, and check this out. So they actually have a bottle of the 2021 Winter Blend for 300 euro. That's wild. And they have the US label for the Tequila Ocho as well. And look at all the chartreuse. All these special edition bottles of chartreuse. Oh my gosh. Oh, I spoke too soon about the celebrity tequila. They have a Codigo over here and a Gran Patron. Casa Dragon is back there. Not that that one's a celebrity school, but it just happens to be on the same shelf. Look at that price though. That's wild. I wouldn't pay that. They have a great selection of stuff there. And if you're in Italy and you want to get really great tequila, check out Enoteca Alessi. This was awesome. They have even better stuff than they do in fucking the US. So 